AkronHipHop.com, the ReporterNewspaperOnline.com. I'm down here at the Reporter Newspaper right now making it happen. Don't forget to pick up the tangible copy, which comes out every Friday in all your local neighborhood spots. I'm talking about the corner stores, the drive through the barbershop. Hell, you know you can get it, the grocery stores and everything. That is the weekly publication of the Reporter Newspaper. And of course, right now here online, we do the digital version, which is called the Reporter Newspaper Online.com. But listen, we here to talk about that guy, your uncle, your dude, Bill Cosby. What up, Char? Hey, Hiram. Hey, yo, um, so what we got? Go ahead and just read what we got to read so we, I can talk about it. Okay. Bill Cosby is a free man after Pennsylvania Supreme Court overturned sex assault conviction. That's the title? That is the title of the article. Let's go. The article reads, Bill Cosby was released from prison Wednesday after Pennsylvania's highest court overturned his sexual assault conviction, saying the disgraced actor's due process rights were violated. Mm. The stunning decision in the case of the man once known as America's dad reverses the first high-profile celebrity criminal trial of the Me Too era. The panel of Pennsylvania State Supreme Court judges said in their opinion that a former Montgomery County District's attorney's decision to not prosecute Cosby in 2005 in return for his disposition in a civil case was ultimately used against him. Ultimately used against him. Yes. And it also reads, in light of these circumstances, the subsequent decision by successor DAs to prosecute Cosby violated Cosby's due process rights, the judges wrote. Okay, so let me kind of um, break it down in layman's terms because you know I represent the Hiram Glyphic Podcast. And what we do is translate so you can understand a little deeper. So, Shark, correct me if I'm wrong. Make sure that I'm paraphrasing what you're saying. So apparently, once upon a time, Bill Cosby went into the DA's office um, being being um, forthcoming with some information. He was told that this information or his disposition, deposition, um, was not being used against him if he just come forward with some information that's going to help the style. Uh, later, after the fact that he did that, years later, Yes, yes, um, a new DA stepped in the office, not noticing, not actually apparently noticing that um, Bill Cosby made that deal with the other um, DA. So what happened was, um, in short, the new guy gets in there, the new DA gets in there, he see all this, this damn word playing. Hey, dude, this guy's criminating himself. What the hell is going on? We're going to prosecute. Now he did, what, three years or two, almost three years in jail when they just found out re- realized this little the little hiccup in this civil rights because you cannot uh, prosecute once it said we're not going to prosecute for your information we're not going to do it the guy um, that did it represents the same seat although it wasn't the same guy that is correct that's the hiccup that is correct that is absolutely correct that's so he what sat it was. down there literally so they didn't see this happening as it was happening in my humble opinion, they may have seen this happening, but as as the article said in the beginning, that was that Me Too era. So this was somebody that was high profile. But they went after him. And went after him. And you believe the, that they didn't give a damn what the damn thing is. We're gonna Now that's my humble opinion. That's Char's humble opinion that they took this information that he gave but if they also remember in the deposition, he said he provided the Quaaludes and the different things for the women. He's always stuck to Mr. Bill Cosby. That ain't what I did. But in the deposition, it says. I ain't see the deposition okay, at all. I ain't, okay, yes, but that. But you obviously saw it. Yes, that me. particular deposition, Bill Cosby, he, he never said that, hey, that they was. They wasn't getting ill. And, right, he's, he's never said that. What he is stuck to saying was, I didn't drop the stuff in there, you know, to get it. I did provide that. 
so that all that partying can go on. Now he he did admit that, but they took now, that and used it against him. But they weren't even allowed to use it against him because no, he, was he was not. forthcoming with the information. They, they, that's right. And that's how they, this loophole got. So they that said, is hey, correct. He shouldn't have been sitting in there because this, this shouldn't shouldn't have been used against him. That is correct. So okay, on to the next thing. Bill is free. And I think he's going to be vilified for the rest of his days because I'm online today looking at how people is happy and some people are like, he's a rapist. No, he was exonerated from anything um, uh, of the contrary, right? But here's the thing. Some people believe because that loophole said he shouldn't have been prosecuted. They don't believe that he did not do what, he, what they claim he did. What do you think about that? Uh, like I said, and this is my, hum my humble opinion, and I'm going to still take my stand. He said, I provided those things, and yes, we did this and we did that. I never just, you know, drugged these females. So, so let, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me just break it down so people can understand. So, Char, if I invite you over to my crib, uh huh, and there's alcohol involved, okay, and you get drunk, okay, and have sex with me, okay. And you wake up and say, I did not have sex. Do you know I'm wrong? Of course. You know why I'm, I'm considered wrong? Because I was incoherent and you provided alcohol for me and made it took advantage of I may not have been in my right mind and may have did some things. So if it was recorded that you was the aggressor, would I get in trouble? If it's literally recorded, no, you, you, was getting, you was drinking and kicking it, and then you was the aggressor and everything. I just couldn't deny you. Are we saying at that point that uh, I don't know when to say, you know, it's safe to say don't even deal with a chick when she's drunk. Uh, yes, it is. That's mean if she get too drunk and this ain't your woman or something like you've been with for a long time, it's safe to say, especially if you're of a person of high profile, huh? That is correct. This is spooky, man. Yes, it's very spooky. spooky. But can I add on to that? In my humble opinion, now this is just Char's opinion. They was kicking it back in that time. Partying and things of that nature. And I believe, now this is just my opinion. If you was being around these type of individuals, may have been a Bill Cosby, so forth for so on. Don't, I don't believe that these women, you did not hear the rumors or that you did not know what went on in these particular parties. So you put yourself in a situation to allow certain things to happen. I'm not saying that it is right, but as grown adults, I honestly believe, like I said, in my humble opinion, you knew how that man got down. That is a small circle, and you knew how they party. You just not that gullible. Now, if the person was saying, I was 16 or 17 years old, I can buy that. You gave this child uh, quaaludes, and you did this, and you took advantage. But if you was a grown adult... Bill Cousin wasn't doing quaaludes, was he? He was doing something else. Don't say it, but he was doing something else. Uh, okay, but, I, but I'm just saying, this, now, you, this, now, this is my humble opinion, but... I'm not saying because I wasn't there. I, I'm not saying that he was wrong or if he was right. Only thing I'm saying is, but with that, you know, you know the type of situation you put but with that, in. But with that logic, Char, if um, if if somebody is at a nightclub and they passed out drunk with their skirt hiked up, okay, um, is and, and she's comfortable enough to just pass out drunk. If something happened to her, is it her fault? She know she shouldn't have been drinking like that to the point she can't hold her liquor and she pass out like that and people um, take advantage of her. Is she wrong? She's responsible though. You just, according to what you're saying, you saying she know that lady shouldn't get that damn drunk at the damn after hours. Yes or no? That's what yeah. you're saying. I'm just saying what you're saying. Yeah. So and this yeah. person got to be a little, and it don't matter how comfortable she is around it, she put herself in that situation. Yes? Oh yeah. Oh trust and believe. So how do you how do you fix that? You don't drink when you out when you out, you don't get too drunk. How do you how do how, how do ladies how do ladies prevent themselves from getting dealt with like that when you said um it's pretty much she's responsible? That is a very good question because I've been put into compromising 
positions myself, personally, um, when I thought I was with friends and thought I was comfortable and, and, and then had some, uh, well, nothing like that, uh, but I've had, you know, some traumatizing things that I had to deal with and stick up for myself, but I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Now, this is a person that had pictures taken of her and put on social media and made fun of and you gotta tell him what it was but, but, right. but, but yeah so but I'm gonna be honest I sat back yes I defended myself and I clapped back hard but I did sit back and I thought about it you know what I know I like to drink and if I want to be a little tipsy I'm gonna do that in the comfort of my home Right. period if I, if, if I want to be that relaxed I also know that I'm a person that can't be out for 5, 6 o'clock in the morning so, I am so grateful for the Uber and the Lyfts. So, if I'm riding with someone and they're not ready to go, trust, I got enough money on my Lyft or my Uber so I can take myself home because I don't want to be uh, stuck in a situation to where I'm going this place and that place because I'm not driving. Mm. So, I'm just saying, you, you got to look at it from all angles. And some people have to take the responsibility with themselves when they are in certain situations. I mean, that's just my humble opinion. Take us out of here, John. Well, you know what it is. You know, Hiram brought it to you. You know, it may not be that Hiram Glippin, but he brought it to you on that Pacific Terrifics. And he had his girl, Shark Johnson, in the building. So make sure you stay tuned in. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Akron Hip Hop TV. And if you don't know, this is not reality TV. And this is not reality radio. This is reality. And when you know better, do better.